Why wait until January 1st to start working on your goals? Why wait until January 1st to get closer to God? If you're like me and don't want to wait until January 1st to start working on your goals, get closer to God and become the person God has called us to be, then it is time for you and I to enter our winter arc together. If you didn't know, winter arc is something that is currently trending on social media right now and is simply using the cold winter month to basically lock in. Using the cold winter months to build routines, discipline, focus, to work on your goals and basically become a better version of yourself. So instead of hibernating, think elevating. The time starts now. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chama. If this is your first time here, please do well subscribe to the channel. I promise you, you love it here, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know the vibes, you already know how we do. Thank you so much for coming back. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to enter our winter arc together and most importantly, with God. A scripture that I have here is James 4, 8, which says, draw near to God and it will draw near to you. This is the time to seek God. I've been seeing videos like this everywhere on social media from YouTube to TikTok to Instagram and I thought I'd come share practical tips on how to enter your winter arc, how to lock in with God, okay? Because God is the source, okay? So before we get into it, what is winter arc? The term winter arc can be seen as a personal or spiritual growth phase during winter season where you focus on self-improvement, setting goals and deepening your relationship with God. It's about using the stillness and the reflection of winter as a transformative period like a story arc in series where a character goes through significant period or also like you know how the beer hibernates during the winter months. Instead of hibernating we're actually working on ourselves building discipline whatever it is that we need to do so that by 2025 we would already be ready or have a head start for the year basically now the first step to entering your winter arc with god is basically to define your why why are you doing this is this some social media trend that you're just exploring you have to define your why because your reason is what sustains you or what carries you through if it makes sense and aside from this being a social media trend i was already planning on doing a challenge like this for the rest of the month because for the rest of the year sorry because i did something similar during the summer month or the last quarter where i basically focused on self-development i said i go into the gym i took my prayer my devotional life more serious compared to the previous quarter and you know looking for ways to improve my career and all of that so you have to define your why basically what is the reason why are you going on this challenge basically and then step number two is to set your goal what are you looking to achieve at the end of this um, challenge or at the end of this period what are you looking to achieve and for me when it comes to setting your goal i would advise instead of setting oh by the end of this challenge i want to have amounted x amount of this or x amount of that how about I want to be a better version of myself, a better version that started this challenge. So basically, if I'm someone who procrastinates a lot, a goal for me will be procrastinate less at the end of this challenge or ultimately stop procrastinating. For me, it's not about tying your goals to something, to a number. It's more about the change, the transformation that comes out of this exercise, if it makes sense. Step number three, closely following step number two is to actually break down your goals. So like I've said, you've set what you want to achieve. So how do you want to achieve it? In what areas of your life? Life, do you want to achieve set goals for me i am looking at improving these three areas of my life number one being my spiritual life number two being my health and lifestyle and number three being my career basically for number one being my spiritual life what do i want to do what what how do i want to achieve this that's this is me breaking it down for you for my spiritual life i want to have a consistent routine with god i want to have a consistent personal time with god and that includes my morning devotion my nighttime bible study going to church more often listening to um sermons more often as opposed to watching movies or surfing through the internet i'm not saying i'm not gonna surf through the internet or watch movies i still will do these things but i'm going to do these other things more these other things being spending more time with god praying more because i want to improve my spiritual life i want at the end of this period at the end of this season at the end of this time for me i'm a better person compared to the person who started this exercise basically my second category like i said is health and lifestyle and basically for this area i want to 
take my health and my lifestyle more seriously. Going to the gym more, eating more healthy, exercising more, having a good sleep pattern. I don't like to read. There are so many things I don't like to do, but I have now come to realize that even though I don't like to do these things, doing them would be beneficial to me. I can grow to like them, if it makes sense. In terms of my career, I'm looking more at stability and progress. And when I say career, I don't only mean my corporate life, I also mean my career as a content creator. And if you know, you know that being consistent is something that i struggle with especially as a content creator and in as much as i may have valid reasons as to why i am not consistent as i want to be i'm tired of looking for reasons to justify my absence from this sin or from this field that god has given to me so for me now in terms of my career as a content creator the goal is to like i said be stable stable in the sense of being consistent being a consistent face in your face if it makes sense now step four following closely to step three is after breaking down your goals you need to make sure that your goals are trackable how are you going to track your goals how are you going to actually see said changes okay and for me for instance in terms of my career like i said being a content creator there are 11 sundays left for the year 2024 11 sundays means 11 videos so throughout this exercise or throughout this season of you know locking in i aspire to drop at at least 11 videos for the remainder of the year okay because my goal is to drop videos Sundays and Wednesdays now Wednesdays is additional okay optional so at the end of the year or at the end of this season I want to have at least 11 videos on my channel from today does it make sense then for my spiritual goals I like i said i would love to continue my personal time with god my personal devotion because from like july i want to say i started this whole um, morning devotion before phone and i want to get back to that morning devotion before phone phase i want that to actually be a routine i want that to actually be a way that i live my life not something that i, I oh sorry my mouth. So I want that to actually be a way that I live my life, not something that I am doing as a chore. So point number five is to understand that this is a personal journey and also this is something we have to do with God. In as much as we're looking to grow in all areas of our lives, we have to involve God in the start, in the process and in the ending. Okay, there is no room to leave out God or there's no room for leaving out God. We have to understand that God has to be start, center, finish of this whole process. Okay. So basically understanding that this is a personal journey. This is your own race. You're not running in competition with the next person. You're entering and you're going at your own pace, trusting God, doing what you can each day. Yes. There are some days where it's like, Oh my God, I cannot just, I can't just, and it's understandable, but how you move on from such days is so much more important. It's not about, Oh, I already failed. I wasn't able to do this. I wasn't able to do that. Yes. You fell, but pick yourself up and and continue doing it again continuous striving life is a continuous process you continuously live same way working on yourself should be a continuous process i hope it makes sense so one day or day one you decide it's totally up to you now here's what i actually want you to do get a pen a piece of paper a jotter a journal whatever it is but get something to write down write down your goals write down how you want to go about achieving set goals write down how you want to track set goals because the bible said to write the vision and make it plain and i'm actually going to read that scripture it is abacuc 2 2 to 3 from the new king james version it says then the lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak and it will not lie though it tarries wait for it because it will show come it will not tarry i mean do i even need to say much about this scripture write down your goals present it to the lord and work towards achieving it whatever areas you actually want to work on it could be your finances it could be your marital life it could be your academics it could be your business whatever it actually is write it down and present it to god this is how we enter our winter act with god we involve god from the start 
the process to the finish point god is involved at all times okay we don't do it based on head knowledge we don't do it based on what we feel like doing we do it at god directives does it make sense so write down your goals present it to god okay and walk towards it tell yourself that this time i'm actually going to work towards achieving this gone are the days where i say i want to do this i want to do that i set down goals and i barely achieve it because i'm actually not working towards said goals this time around i actually want to achieve these goals god help me actually achieve these goals this is what i want to do because i know the potentials that you have given to me oh god now help me to to walk in these potentials help me to achieve these things help me to conquer these things that limits me from becoming who you have called me to be and i promise you i promise you it is achievable it is attainable because the bible again in abacook says the last line that i read says though it tarries it will surely happen wait for it though it tarries it will surely happen and the word surely whenever it's used in the bible you just know that it's a sure banker it's going to happen no brainer no need to worry surely okay and one very last thing about this i'm going to say is to commit your plans to god the bible says to commit your plans to the lord and it will make it successful so as you are doing whatever it is you're doing make sure you're committing it to the lord do not leave god out because most of the times when we feel like we're failures or we've not achieved our goals our dreams our vision it's because we don't involve god we don't commit our plans to god we only come to god like god is our atm i want to say atm machine we only come to god like god is our atm just we withdraw we withdraw we withdraw we withdraw, we withdraw without committing let this be the season let this be the time that we actually change and we actually commit and walk with god okay and i pray that the lord god makes our effort successful and shows us his approval just as the bible says in psalm 90 verse 17 which says i mean the lord our god show us his approval and make our effort successful yes make our effort successful amen just amen amen and amen i pray this for all of us as we embark on this challenge as we embark on this season of more amen i'm going to create a habit tracker and leave the link in the description box just in case anyone is interested this is going to be a way to track our goals to make sure that we are actually putting the work that we need daily okay so yeah friends we've come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i hope this video blessed you and i hope this video has awakened something in you the you that wants more the you that aims more the you that wants to please and follow god and i hope you really really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know if you'll be joining me on this challenge leave beautiful comments and i'll definitely see you in my next video stay blessed stay safe and as always stay happy